So today, what do you say we take a look at some cool tech? And today we're taking a look at the ProtoArc Mechanical Office Keyboard, the Mech K300. This is a tri-mode mechanical keyboard. What does that mean? Well, you got three different ways to connect this your keyboard to your devices. Number one, your traditional wired way using a USB-C, USB-A wire to your device. Um, a 2.4 gigahertz wireless adapter to connect that way or Bluetooth. And you have two Bluetooth options. So technically, you can connect this to four different things, three different ways. Let's get straight into this. Um, just to let you know, I've been using this keyboard for about a week and a half now, and I gotta say, I love it. I just might replace my current uh, everyday driver, but I'm gonna share with you my thoughts and impressions on this so you can make that decision for yourself. So let's get straight into it. Um, again, I said I've been using this, using this for a week and a, a, week and a half, and the box to back up so I can give you that boxing experience. So here we go. The ProtoArc mechanical keyboard. All right, so you got your instructions. Definitely want to take a look at these instructions because it's got so much meat, meaty information in this. Uh, there's a software you can download for your keyboard, for your, for your computer, so you can do custom settings or setups. Um, within uh, the keyboard, so you can program your keyboard. It's all here. It also reveals uh, the presets um, of the keyboard, such as it's got light design. So you've got like a waterfall design, a breathing mode, a constant bright string, a uh, string scanning, flowing light, a starry mode, streamer, rippling mode, a wave floating, one light movie mode, uh, shine wave, dazzling, and raindrop. Essentially, yeah, you have. It's got different uh, light modes for it. So remember to check that out so you can do that. Aside from that, you only get two things in the box. You get your keyboard. This is such an awesome looking keyboard. And you get a USB-C to USB-A cable to power your keyboard. So uh, let's go through the different ways. Well, actually, let's take a look at this keyboard first. First of all, again, like we said earlier, this is a mechanical keyboard. You also have the option of replacing the key. So I can just grab this one right here and boop, take it out. And then I don't know if you can replace this with anything else, but you can take it out. I think, oh, well, I guess you can actually, there goes your switches right there, you know, but yeah, you can actually do that too. Um, I love how it's got like the little circular design of the keyboard. It reminds me of a stage in Luminous, you know, it's, it's, it's just very reminiscent of, of that. Um, you feel it, it's not really loud for a mechanical keyboard, keyboard, but the feel of it's very soft and comfortable as well. I gotta tell you, over a week and a half, I fell in love with this keyboard. The way it feels, the way it operates, the way just, just everything. It just looked really cool. It was one of those moments where my wife comes up to me and says, you got a new keyboard. I'm like, no, 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 I'm reviewing the keyboard. Relax, get off my back. So yeah, uh, let's take a look at the other side. You'll see that we've got our incline flips. You have uh, two levels. You can actually get really deep or we can go shallow deep with the smaller ones for now for this video, we'll go with the shallow one. And of course you've got your USB uh, dongle so you can connect your wireless 2.4 gigahertz uh, connection. Uh, to start it off, let's connect wired so we can get go through the entire thing of this keyboard so you can check it out. So I'll go ahead and plug it right here. Get a little charge in this baby. Plug right here. And you can see right here on the, on the, on the bottom here, you got your on and off switch. Now, you can see right here, right, uh, right now it's flashing F2 because that's the previous mode we were on and also our charging uh, light as well. So if I hold, function, then I have additional functionality with the keyboard. So if I press function function, and I press one of these key, keys, I'll switch to the different try mode or programming mode of the actual keyboard. So we want to do wired mode, right? So I'll go function and I'll press F1, which is wire. And now we switch to wire. You can hear my PC pick it up and we're good, cool, good to go. You can see how our, our keyboard just completely lights up, ready to rock and roll. One thing that I want to show you, I it's on incline mode. All right, there we go. I need to slow down. Uh, one thing that I do want to show you is the light modes that I, when it comes to this uh, to this keyboard. Uh, really cool, as you can see right now, it's a static light mode, but if we hit the function and the shift button with the light, light, you'll see it cycle through different light modes. Uh, you can also play with the intensity of the light as well. So if we go function and then up, it'll get brighter. 
and we go down, it'll get dimmer until it's all the way off. So we'll bring all it bright again. And then once we get to the cycling modes, you can actually either slow it down or you can speed up the speed of the light cycles. So speaking about the light cycles, let's show you, uh, let's take a demo of it right now. So function and shift, you can see how we're going to that one. Looks really cool, right? I like it. Uh, you go into left to right. Okay, this one is a response type. So if you press something, you can see how the light just kind of, it, oh, it does something from there. So there you go, you see it lights up. Now, oh, you just kind of jump forward for, for, for me. All right, then we can go uh, function shift again. We got some really cool thing. Looks kind of like a matrixy a little bit. Shift again, got another one. I think if we press it, yeah, you see how it goes? It spreads around. Do it again. Just, oh, I love that. Look at how, how it does it with, that's really cool. It's also affecting my video that I don't want it to do, but we'll do, we'll do it for the, the demo. And of course, yeah, you got this nice wavy one going on. And of course, if you got that going on, you can see how it's a difference between an interactive one or a set pattern one as well. We we'll shift it and then we've got that all the way down to the bottom. Going again, oh, that's a nice cool one. And then we've got that. So yeah, so it seems like we're, oh, and then we've got like a kind of like a waterfall, right? And then we've got a breathing. And then that's kind of like a rolling down, a ripple. It's coming down again. Yep. And where's our static? That's off. Oh boy. I guess let's circle around. There we go. All right, we'll leave it right there. Yeah, so those are your different uh, light modes. Really cool, I know, right? All right, uh, let, let's keep on going. Uh, let's switch it to our, our wireless mode. So we'll take this out, unplug it out. We'll bring out our, our USB port, which you see right here. Go ahead and plug it in. Just in, which is pretty, we'll turn it on. And again, oh, there we go, function two. All right, and then we're connected, it lights comes on, and then we can just use it as you like. One that I like, uh, it's got its immediate section, so you can see here how you've got a play, uh, rewind, and forward. So I can play, and it'll just play my video, I can pause it, and of course I can do, I can do with my, um, my volume as well, and also mute and unmute as well. Really cool, really straightforward. Uh, this, all, this can also connect to like a Windows and Mac. So you have your Windows and Mac, you know, how they're kind of laid out differently. Uh, function, you can choose between the two for whatever setup you're using this um, as well. And of course, the two Bluetooth modes, we can connect this to my phone. So all I can do is, all I have to do is function and I'll pick one of the Bluetooths. It's already connected to my phone. And you can see right here, uh, we're just adding more into it. It's a keyboard. It's a really cool keyboard. That being said, all right, so my final thoughts, first of all, um, I love the look of this keyboard. It feels nice over a week and a half uh, of using this. I've really come to love and like the Proto Arc uh, keyboard. Uh, they've really done a fantastic job with the, the look, the feel, the, uh, I like, you know, I, I like the color light, uh, not the color light, uh, the light designs as well. Really, um, really cool. If I had to give you one thing, just one thing, uh, sometimes it looks like the light's not really catching it at all. I mean, all of it. You can see how on the L on the top, you've got a, a bright light, but on the bottom, it's just kind of a little faded. It's a small little nitpick, but I'm just, you know, I want to give you a full honest impression of this keyboard, which I love um, a lot. Um, as of right now, I just have to pick out all right, well, where am I writing this? Uh, how am I using this for my day to day? Uh, is it gonna stay right here on my desk or am I gonna put it in my vocal booth and just use it when I'm in there? I don't know, I'm torn because I really, really like this keyboard and it looks awesome. All right, guys, really hope this video helped you out in making your choice. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own ProtoArc Proto -Arc mechanical keyboard. The MK, the something 300. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can check out other videos. Hit that like button if you like what's going on here and also ding that notification so you can, well, be notified for future videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love this keyboard. I'll see you in the next